Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video we're going to be going over some new upcoming cartel market items for patch 5.10 which is going to be the new uh, Jedi storyline which is going to come I believe sometime in December I think late December we're going to see the new patch hit with the new storyline and probably a lot of these cartel market items as well. And um, once again, this is just a preliminary look. We're probably going to see updated versions of both these items as well as newer items as we get closer to the date. However, we do have some pretty neat stuff to go through. And so we'll go ahead and look at uh, some of the new armor, weapons, and mounts that we can expect to see uh, in the future. So going into the armor sets first, and here are some really cool ones. The first one we have here is a Mandalorian-themed armor set. And he's got this really cool uh, bony scale type of... Um, of style going on his armor. I do believe there was a Twitter post about this one and it had something to do with the fact that this was actually inspired by some of the older Mandalorian armor styles that we saw in comic books with regards to the Old Republic era. And it is indeed a very nice looking armor set. I think just in general Bioware tends to do pretty well with the Mandalorian stuff and this is indeed a really nice looking Mandalorian armor set. Uh, the upper body armor looks fantastic. The helmet looks really neat as well. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy this one. The second one here isn't as cool. Once again, I don't have any names or rarities or any, anything for these ones, but the second one here kind of looks like a clone trooper-ish armor set. Obviously, the helmet looks very unique, but the uh, upper body armor and the rest of the stuff has a similar style to maybe some of the clone trooper armor that you can expect with the Clone Wars and that time period. Uh, pretty cool armor set, not much to say about it. The third one here is a really cool one, Sith-themed armor set. Once again, the helmet looks fantastic. Uh, the upper body armor is really neat as well. It's got that whole red style going, something you'd probably see on Korriban. It seems like the back a cape actually is like a shredded form of a cape, which I don't think we've actually seen in the game recently, so that looks really neat as well. So all in all, a really decent looking armor set as well. The next one we have here is like an Imperial agent themed armor set. It seems as though this one's going to have some sort of mini droid uh, or pet droid associated with it. Usually what that means is when you unsheath your weapon, uh, the droid will like appear and like, I don't know, I guess be there as you fight. Uh, all in all, once again, it's an okay looking armor set. I think the helmet is pretty uh, ugly. I don't really like it. But the upper body armor is, has that really good traditional Imperial look to it, which I think once again, a lot of people will like. Now, if you thought those armor sets were good, well, the weapons are even better. So let's get uh, let's get into it. The first one here, we have this really neat looking lightsaber coming. Um, I guess there's not much to say about it aside from the picture kind of speaks for itself. It's just a really well designed, good looking lightsaber. Very unique. Uh, it's got like those two horns sticking out the, t the front. It also has this kind of open feel to it. Like it hasn't been fully constructed yet, which I don't know, is kind of cool. Um, we also have a dual saber version of this one, but what's different about the dual saber is ha it has this curved feature to it, which as you guys can see from the image looks pretty neat as well. Now another cool design for a lightsaber has popped up as well as you guys can see from this image, uh, looking like basically a, a cool looking hilt, but it has that whole kind of handle to it. I'm not sure what to call it, but uh, it does look pretty cool, I think. I, this looks more of kind of just like a silver rarity type of weapon. But um, it is really unique and I'm all for unique designs. As long as it's something new and different, I think it's a good addition or a worthy addition to the game. Uh, we also have a cool kind of double bladed uh, vibra sword that um, I think I showed in a previous video. But this one kind of looks a little bit cooler. You can see that there's a little bit of a lightning effect associated with it. So just, um, just above the blade we have this sort of crackling which is always a really neat touch. So this is also a really well designed, good looking... Um, what would you call it? A vibro staff, I guess. Now, in terms of blasters, we have the return of the holster. Okay, so mischief and anarchy with these two blasters that were released as platinum rarity items a while back. And basically, the cool thing about them was when you had them, it automatically gave you a holster on like your thigh. Well, it looks like this blaster will be doing that as well. Uh, it looks exactly like basically a gun. I, I'm not sure what type of gun that would be, but I know that that looks exactly like a gun. And then just some modifications are made to the top with the scope and also the barrel to, I guess to justify it being in the Star Wars universe, but that's that's a gun and it comes with its own holster. So make of that what you will. I will never use it, but it's kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. Now, if you thought those designs were nice, I saved the best for the last. We are going to be getting Darth Malgus's lightsaber in the game. So here's an image of it, uh, fully completed. 
the the reason I know this is Darth Malgus's lightsaber is just because if you go on like Google Images and stuff, he has a very distinctive design with those two big kind of blades sticking out the top and and the black hilt and everything. It's a really good looking lightsaber. Uh, we've seen you know similar things in the past. We saw Tula Cord's lightsaber, and so it's not uncommon that we see this added to the game. And also, um, what's cool about it is that it could potentially have some sort of effect associated with the hilt. So for example, with Tulak's Horde's lightsaber, it had the really cool unstable effect. So this one could have an unstable effect. It could just be a normal blade. I don't know. It just definitely will be platinum rarity and cost like 5,400 cartel coins on the cartel market. So that you can probably be sure of. But other than that, I think it's cool. We also have a really cool variant of it. This one is the damaged version. So it seems like they're giving us also a damaged version of the lightsaber. Now, I think what they might do is might, they might make the regular version um, just a normal lightsaber and the damaged version an unstable form of it. Uh, they're probably going to do something along those lines. Either way, it's pretty cool to see these added to the game. They also may provide them in some sort of bundle. So rather than paying like the full price for just one platinum item, maybe they'll give us both for the same price. I don't know. Hopefully. Nonetheless, those were pretty cool. Going on into the mounts. We only have one mount so far that's been data mined. It's kind of this uh, really neat design actually, and it does seem to indeed have a flourish associated with it. Overall, I think it's decent. Um, these mounts are never really worth their cartel coin price tag, but the good news is they do tend to go pretty cheap on the GTN no matter really what kind of mount it is. If you give it enough time, you'll probably find one for a decent enough price on the GTN. So that's a good news and it does look like a, a pretty decently well designed mount. And then aside from that, we do have a few decorations that I'll show you guys here. Uh, these are like the, um, the new planet that was revealed was Osus or Osus. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's kind of like a Jedi planet. It's all dark and dreary. And we do have some decorations that go ahead really well with that whole, um, that whole environment. And so you can check in them out here. All in all, some really neat, cool designs, some really nice items. Let me know what you guys think about these in the, in the comment section below. I do think they're really kind of well done. I'm pretty excited for the new 5.10 storyline. Um, hopefully, they are able to re reinvigorate that you know old conflict of Jedi versus Sith and do that really well because I think we all kind of want to return to that just for nostalgia reasons. And also, that was when the storyline was at its best. And so... Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.